Hi guys, in this lesson I'm showing you how to play the A major chord, which is the second chord that I recommend that absolute beginners learn. So let's get in for the close-up straight away. So this is our A major chord, and it can also be played like this. But I'd really recommend sticking to this way of playing it because it will really help with the transition between the first chord we learnt, the E, and the A chord because that first finger doesn't lift off so we don't have that mad panic where we go ah where do my fingers go so this is the way I would recommend that we look at this A chord but I will show you the other one as well so we have our first finger on the second fret and it's the third string so one two three from the lowest one and this one needs to be around in the middle of the fret because our middle finger is gonna go just above it on the string 4, also on the 2nd fret. And your 3rd finger goes directly below that 1st finger, so they're all on different strings, also at the 2nd fret, and that's on string 2. And when we strum this chord, we want to strum it from string 5. The reason for that is that thickest string is called the E string, and the next one is called the A string. So that A is the lowest note we want heard in this A chord. Now we can do that by just strumming from string 5. And if we have each finger right on the tip, and you're not touching the bottom of the guitar like this, all five strings should ring out. So that one more time, we have first finger, second finger, and third finger there and they're all on the second fret to check that that is ringing out we want to pick each individual string from string five so not the thickest one we want to pick it from string five and go through each one and we can hear that they're ringing out great we do also have this way of playing an A chord which is entirely valid and when I first learned guitar this was the only A chord I knew of. It's only since I've been teaching that I've found that the other one is really useful. So with this one we have our first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, middle finger second fret just below it and third finger again just below it. So this is far easier to visualize however when you start playing guitar and trying to learn songs you'll find that actually pressing your fingers and learning a shape is tricky at first but it's okay to learn it will come quite quickly it's changing between the chords and putting everything together that makes everything quite difficult so this is certainly a valid and a great A chord but I would go for this way of playing it from example A so this is that A chord shown in a chord diagram. So we can see we've got a little X on the thickest string, and uh, that means that we don't want to play string six, essentially. And this is how we'd, uh, this is the chord diagram for this example A. So we've got one in the middle, two above it, and three below it, and everything is on that second fret. And the tricky thing is generally making sure that all five strings ring out, which you can check by picking each individual one and keeping your fingers right on the tips um, and making sure we don't touch the bottom of the guitar. They're the key points of getting a great sounding A major chord. So that's how to play our first two major chords. Now, it's very tempting for people to want to learn more chords so that they can do more songs, but I've managed to find 10 songs that use just these two chords, and those already have videos for each one of those song lessons on my website at andyguitar.co.uk. But what we want to do before we get to those songs, which I'd recommend getting to as soon as possible, really, but we want to get the changes between these two chords down. So that's going to be in the next lesson that follows this one, how to change between the E and A major chord, and then you can learn some strumming patterns, and then we can get you on to learn some songs. So hopefully I'll see you in one of those next lessons. Thank you very much for watching, and bye for now. You can download this video and the ebook that goes with this entire course by clicking in this area here. Click over there to watch the next lesson here on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and all those links are in the description if you are watching on mobile.